All right, what's going on? Let's take a look at creating an OJIV in Google Sheets. All right, so here I have a frequency distribution. And to, to do an OJIV, once you have your frequency distribution, all you need is the class boundaries and the frequency. I'm sorry, the class boundaries and the cumulative frequency. Okay. All right, so this right here, if you want to know how to create this chart here, just uh, search my YouTube channel for creating a frequency distribution in Excel, and you'll see, and you'll, you can watch that video. All right, so first, what we have to do is we have to take the class boundaries, the upper limits of the class boundaries, okay? Here's the upper limits, here's the lower limits. And remember, to get the upper limits, you just add 0.5 to the, each of these. And to get the lower, you add 0.5 to each of these. Okay. Now, remember, the way you get the 0.5 is you see the 29 and the 30. That gap between 29 and 30 is 1. And so half of 1 is 0.5. And so that's how I know what to subtract and add here. All right. So you can see I, I have a... I have a formula here, so I'm going to copy this, okay? All right, so let's select this, and I'll hit Control-C, all right? Now, if I, if I just paste it, it's not going to paste it right because of the formula. But what, what I need is I just need the values. So to do that in Google Sheets, you do Control-Shift-V, and it'll just paste the values. It won't paste the formula. Okay. And then I need the cumulative frequency. I just type these in. Uh, so we'll copy that and we'll paste it. All right. So here's my data that I've got to plot. Now, to do a, to, to uh, graph an OJIVE, the, it, it's going to, it's going to plot all this, but the first point for an OJIV is you have to use the lower class boundary, okay, the lower class boundary in the first class, okay, in the first interval here, which is 21.5, and that has to be at zero, okay? So at this, so you get all the upper ones, okay? and the cumulative frequency that goes with them okay but just remember it has to it's going to start out at the lower class boundary of the first class okay and that's going to be at zero that's got to be on that axis there all right so now all i'm going to do is highlight this and i'm going to go up here to insert chart and well, there we go. It it does a line chart, and that's exactly what we want it to do. We want it to do a line chart. Okay. If it if it doesn't default to a line chart, if it tries to do something else, you just click this chart type down, and you know you can pick what whatever chart you want. But in this case, we need the line chart. All right. All right. And so let's see. And and we want to use column A as labels. Okay, the column A is labels, uh, and it's you know it's got all this labeled here. All right, so now what we're ready to do, to do is come over here to customize, and let's let's just go through this. We've got uh, chart style. So for chart style, uh, we can change the background color. Uh, let's let's just change it to gray. How about that? We can change the font. We can change the chart border. See, if you click that, you can you can see that little red outline there around the edge. Uh, we can do smooth. We don't want that. Uh, see, if it's smooth, it kind of rounds it off, but that's not what we want. Maximize, it just shows the whole thing. Uh, and you're not going to need those two. All right, so chart uh, title. And axes, well, uh, chart title, well, we can we can name it whatever. Let's just name it 
ogive and you can see it'll pop up right there we can change the font font size uh, let's go ahead and change the color so we can see it a little bit better well, how about we change it to black or let's see what white does well, that looks pretty good so let's just leave it there on white and then the uh then we can change the horizontal axis which is this one uh, well i don't know i guess this could be let's just call it ages let's just say it's people's ages uh, i mean it doesn't we don't have a problem but you know that's uh, you know we'll just make something up for that well let's call it uh yeah, let's just leave it ages. All right, so we've got ages, and then we can do the vertical axis title. Uh, now let's just say that's in years. I don't well, and I know that's not right. So because you know, 164 years. But anyway, it'll be good for the video. But I'm just showing you how you can label these axes. Okay. All right, and then we've got series. So color format. I mean, we can change the color of all this and the type of line, uh, you know, line type, we can call it dashed or whatever. And uh, we can change the thickness of the axis and all that kind of stuff. We got left, right axis. And then the point. Now, notice there's no point there, but let's go ahead and, and let's see what we got here. Well, it did throw some points in, but you can't really see them. Let's maybe go up here to 10, and, and now you can see the points here, okay? And there's that, the, the, the uh, point, the 21.50, okay, the 21.50. And, you know, like I said, you can change, you can change all this, the color and all that stuff. Uh, we can do error bars, which we don't need, data labels, it, it'll label, you know, all that. Uh, trend line, you can add a trend line, but we don't need to do all that for an OJIVE. And then the legend, uh, well, I don't, I don't think we'll put a legend. I mean, you can, you know, it. in, in this case, we don't really, we don't need one put it at the bottom uh, but let's just go back to auto where we don't have one uh, horizontal axis now wh what I want you to understand here is uh, this horizontal axis is different than the one we looked at up here where under chart and axis titles now chart and axis titles remember that was this the age and the years but down here what this does is it controls what this looks like. See, let me just show you. If I change this to, let's say, red, see, it cha it changes this, okay? And then let's see what happens. Treat labels as text. So, see, if you treat labels as text, which that's, that's what we want to do here, well, it's going to label the points you see that the 21.5 29.5 all the way to 85.5 all right and then we've got here the vertical axis uh, so you know same thing you can change the color let's just change it to red so it'll be like this one and you know and see how this is kind of maybe hard to see uh, on the vertical axis we could actually change the minimum value Let's just change it to from negative two to uh, two hundred, okay? And let's see what that does. Well, it didn't do anything, did it? Let's see, negative five. Well, it, it kind of makes it where we can we can see the point a little bit better than what we had, okay? So, you know, and you can change, you can do log, log scale, which we don't want to do that. And then we've got the grid lines. So you can add grid lines. You got major, minor, you can change the color of the grid lines. Uh, you can enter, you can add minor grid lines. This right, right here tells you how many minor grid lines you want between the major ones. So like, see if I do two, see it puts in two of them. So, you know, you can do that however you want, but 
you know, but that's really about it. I, I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.